All right, here's the scenario. You got a hard disk from a Mac user and you are a Windows user. You plug the hard drive to your computer, but you cannot see anything. The hard drive doesn't recognize in your Windows system. Why? Because Mac use different file system. In Windows, we use the NTFS and FAT file system. But there's a way to access the Mac file system inside Windows. Let me show you how to access this. So if you go to my uh, PC here, you can, see my, you can see my hard disk. And I have already plugged my uh, external hard disk, uh, which is uh, came from a Mac user, but I cannot see it here. But uh, if I go to the Microsoft Management Console, uh, by the way, if you don't know how to go to this place, uh, you can go to run, press uh, Win key and R and type the MMC. This will open the Microsoft Management Console. And here you can add file, add snap-ins. And here you can see uh, this uh, disk management. You can add it for this computer and finish. Click OK. Now you can uh, get this uh, disk management console, right? Now here uh, you can see all the uh, physical hard disk. Uh, I have connected uh, three hard disk in my uh, computer. This is the external hard disk that is not have been recognized, right? Uh, you cannot see this hard disk in this place, but you can see that hard disk uh, in the uh, Microsoft management console, disk management console. So, in order to access the files in this disk, you need to download this uh, software. It is called uh, this uh, HF SCX Explorer. It's like uh, HF Explorer, right? Just a weird name, but just download and install this software, right? Once you install the software, you can access this uh, in here. By the way, if you haven't used uh, Java Runtime, you need to install the Java Runtime to run this software. It will ask uh, if you haven't installed so you can install the java runtime so i'll go open that software this is the one uh, jeff explorer and here we are okay now this is the uh, file right now in order to access the files you need to go to file load file system from device and it will uh, get this uh, load file system from this uh, from device dialog box and you need to select the device in here, you need to drop uh, drop down this and select the disk that you, uh, the external disk. Now, you must know how many physical hard disk in your computer. In my case, the third disk is the physical disk that I connected, uh, which is came from a Mac user. And you can see in the third disk, uh, there is two partition. I need to access the partition one. I select that and I click load. Right, now you can see all the files uh, that is in this hard disk, right? You can expand these files. These are the uh, files that is uh, from the external hard disk, uh, which is came from the Mac user, right? You can access the files like this. Now, in order to copy the files uh, from this hard disk uh, to your computer, uh, it's pretty easy. You need to select the uh, folder that you need to copy. By the way, you can right click here and you can see uh, the amount of data in that hard disk, etc, etc. In order to copy this, uh, you need to select the folder and you can click on extract button here. And it will ask a place where do you need to extract these files. I select uh, in my computer project here, I select extract here. And it will ask, do you want to follow a symbolic link while extracting? Click yes for this dialog box. And now it is uh, copying the files from this external hard disk to my hard disk, uh, which is not accessible in this uh, Windows Explorer. Uh, this is the best workflow that you can get uh, access files, which is came from a Mac hard disk. I hope this uh, tip will be helpful for you. If you like this kind of stuff, please subscribe to Adobe Rider. I'll be back with the next video. Thank you.